Hello, yes, can Nigel Farage rescue UKIP? Nigel Farage has just announced in the last day or two that he will return to frontline politics and uh, put himself forward as the next uh, UKIP leader when Jared Barton, the present leader, his term expires in March 2019. Should Theresa May continue with her Brexit betrayal? You see, Mr Farage, the Brexit betrayal was signed, sealed and delivered probably months ago, if not a year ago. It's already been signed, sealed and delivered. We have been betrayed. And those Tories that resign, they'll just be replaced by yes-men. Will it prompt a leadership race? I don't know. We shall see. But you see, Mr Farage, you left UKIP a bit too quick. You see, the security services would have known in advance exactly what Theresa May's Brexit proposal was, which was sellout. And they would have known a rebellion would be on the arising and they knew where that rebellion would go, UKIP. So it was in their interest to get control of UKIP or bring it down. You leaving UKIP, you handed UKIP over to the enemy, right? Paul not always just a bumbling idiot, but Henry Bolton and the present leader, Jared Batten, are both working for the secret state, the security services, and maybe input from Nick Lowe's Hope Not Hate and Jerry Gable's Taylor magazine. I don't know. Maybe all three of them. So you leaving UKIP too soon, right? You've handed UKIP over to the enemy. And like I've said, the security services would have known exactly what May's proposals were, which was sellout and betrayal. So they knew... It was in their interest to get control of UKIP or bring it down. So at the moment, they have control of it because you left. Do you really believe the enemies of Britain, the enemies of UKIP are allowing you to get back into UKIP and take control from them? It's not happening, especially now being forewarned and armed with the knowledge of these videos and the modus operandi of the secret states and its agents. Do you, do you really believe they're gonna let you take UKIP back from them? No chance. It's not happening, I hope I'm wrong. There's a book there to be left. A handful of hard men. It's about the Rhodesian SAS, brilliant book, worth buying. And the author quotes former Rhodesian leader, Ian Smith in describing Lord Carrington, who's just died, has he? 99, and he described them as the most evil man I ever met. He's another one that sold Rhodesia out. Uh, like Margaret Thatcher with the Anglo-Irish agreements and uh, Edward Heath with the common market. You see, these people, Mr Farage, they've all been cut from the same cloth. So how you expect the decency and fair play from such a treacherous swine as Theresa May, I will never know. You are obviously very, very naive regarding power politics and those that have been leading us the past 40, 50 years. Theresa May, Edward Heath, Lord Carrington and many others were cut from the same cloth. There's a book I was reading not too long ago and there's a review of it by John Le Carre. Is that how you pronounce that? The spy writer. And he described Philby as not being some uh, misguided, um, ideal logical fool that was attracted to communism. He described them as being a deviant, and that doesn't necessarily mean sexual. A deviant in character and in personality, like Edward Heath, Lord Carrington and Theresa May. They're all being cut from the same cloth, Mr Farage. I hope you've learned an awful lot from this, but rest assured, the enemies of Britain and those now controlling UKIP in the form of Jared Batten and co, they are not letting you take back control of UKIP. Trust me, they're not. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, thank you.